I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm gonna have a pork chop. Actually, it's a kind of a pork steak. I have some instant rice. And I already put the vegetables in the microwave. Gosh, look at this. So I'm cooking the vegetables in the microwave. So I just have to put it back in there and cook it for about three to five minutes. So I'm gonna start that. My water is boiling for my rice. <laughs> Forgot, I have to get the camera. Still have a lot more room in here, but at the same time, it's a little easier to put the camera in here. So I'll move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. But I couldn't do that in the, in the truck. There's a big difference. I want to show you the difference because I can actually move my camera around. I couldn't do that in the truck. I had no counter space to do that. <laughs> so I still can cook in the truck, but I didn't enjoy this that much. Now I can actually cook. So let's get this hot again. Make sure it's plenty hot. So I'm just going to cook some rice. I'm going to season and flour my pork chop. There. So water is boiling. I'm just going to kind of pour, estimate like an eighth of a cup for me of instant rice. I'm just, I never measure anything people. I just kind of estimate. So once that's ready, you can simmer it on low for about 10 minutes. Turn that down. And then here, pull the vegetables out here. I need to just defrost this pork chop a little bit. It's almost thawed, but. And then I'm gonna put some flour in here. In this little pan. Oops, I lose my balance. That should be enough for one pork chop. See my spices over here? There it go. So right behind the camera is where my all my spices are. So I'm gonna add some little bit of the seasoned salt. I keep it very simple. I don't like a whole lot of seasoning and on my stuff because I I can't handle a lot of spice. So salt and pepper. I actually like to put paprika, but what the paprika does is causes things to brown better. And it gives it a little bit of flavor. So I'll put a little bit of that in there. And a little tiny bit of sage, I think it'll be good. Not too much. I don't know. I've been it's been so long since I really cooked that I'm not even sure what to have. So that needs to go off. Put the lid on there, let it stay hot. That's pretty much the rice is done. Don't want to burn it. But a simple meal, guys, I know. It's not fancy, no special recipes, but I'll show you how I cook. So I need some oil in my pan. I'm gonna use avocado oil. I love avocado oil. It, it doesn't burn easily. And it really doesn't change your flavor of your food. Like, I can taste olive oil, but I really can't taste this. It's really good and healthy. Give me a fork. So let's stir this up a little bit. I probably will add more salt and pepper after it's cooked. So that should be ready. This is completely thawed. Yep, it's perfect. So I'm gonna take this here and brown it. <laughs> Splatter flour everywhere. One thing about it, it's easier to clean up in here. <laughs> Much easier. So get this nice and floured up. I like to take a little bit extra. Pack it in a little bit, so we'll hold it. Get a over, make them all floured up. Very good. Okay, so running water, yes. Okay, so this pan is ready to heat up. Okay, let's go 
close this up. I have enough rice there to do one more meal with that. This morning I made sausage and pancakes. I didn't show you the video, but keep it simple. Okay, get that pan hot. Well, this will barely fit in that pan, but it, it'll work. So. No, that in the pan, get it started. Okay, the rice is ready, the vegetables are ready. It should be pretty close. Yeah, I think so, it's are done. Oh yeah, perfect. What I would like to do is drain all the water off the vegetables and then add the butter. Okay, let me get the butter. On this journey in six years, has cooking been so easy? <laughs> that, I mean, I appreciate what I had in the truck. I was able to cook. But it was a lot harder to do videos of cooking. I could still cook, but I couldn't set the camera where I wanted to to, to actually show you what I did. So let me get a knife. Put a lot of butter in this vegetables. And we'll get this mixed up. Put it in, in there. Let that butter melt really good, and then I'll add some salt and pepper, and that's really all it needs. I have enough vegetables here for two or three days, I think, but I thought, okay, I might as well cook it all. I have room in the fridge for leftovers. Never did in the truck, in the small fridge. Could barely fit a bowl in there, let alone any leftovers. So that should be good. I'll put the lid on here, let that melt. That's done. Yeah, it'll take a minute. I might. And I think I'll have this chicken gravy with this. So I have to find a small pan. I think I have one somewhere. I could have heat it up in the microwave, but put this over here. Still don't have a ton of space, counter space, but I do have some. So let's see. Put this over here. I have a wonderful table that it extends off the counter. So I can do tons of stuff over here. And I made peanut butter cookies today in my little oven. There it goes. It's starting to cook really nice. See it's getting brown. Turn it over and let it cook for a little bit that way. And then I'll put a lid on and let it simmer really low. So I, thought, uh, I thought some gravy with the rice and the pork chop it would be good. Normally I would make the gravy, but I wanted to hurry here. I'm hungry. Actually, and eating more now. have a hot pad, but I thought I'll use this wet towel. Not that good. Look at that golden brown. It's beautiful. <laughs> and what I'll use this bit here for. It'll be safer. A little bit safer. And the gravy is starting to heat up. So anytime you can't get the heat low enough, it cooks low enough on pork, you want to add a little bit of water. It'll steam, steam it and make sure it gets cooked all the way through. Just a little tiny bit of water. Then put the noodle back on there, it'll start cooking all the way through. Okay, the gravy's hot. Too much even that little bit I made. 
Well, I won't waste it. I know it won't eat the leftover for that little bit. So, it should be fine. So that's out of the way. The gravy's ready. And the pork chop should be pretty close. So let's see how this works out. Let me turn the burner off. I don't want to make the mistake I made the other day. I turned the oven on. I made some blueberry muffins in the morning. I forgot to turn the oven off. Let me see if this is done. Forgot to turn the oven off about three or four hours later. I figured out why it was so hot even with air conditioner on. <laughs> I had forgotten to turn it off. So that pork chop is done. Let's see how it looks in the middle. I think it should be fine, but I just want to make, yeah, it's done, completely done. I'll show you when I'm serving. So there's the rice. I would like to put the gravy on the rice and the pork chop. So, like this, this here. Believe it or not, rice and gravy is really good. And then I think I'll use a bowl for to put my vegetables in. See this over here. Put some vegetables in here with the, lots of butter. I'll probably need more salt and pepper, but we'll see carrots are nice and cooked and yet still tender. So let's see. Extra salt and pepper for sure. I like got a lot of pepper. Just a little bit of salt. So there's dinner people. That, that is my dinner. And I'm going to sit down and eat and enjoy this. So you can see the meal. That's dinner. Oh, that looks good. I'm ready to eat. <coughs> well, no sooner did us put the pepper on, I started having the sneezing fit. Pepper <laughs> makes me sneeze, so do other kinds of spices, but well, let's see. Let's loop this here. I can't get that back any further. Maybe I can. Just a little bit back. There you go. So, so bon appetit, as they say. Mmm. Rice is good with the gravy. Chicken gravy. Let's see. Get this cut. It's nice and tender. By simmering it a little bit with the water, it made it very tender. You can see it's well cooked. Mmm. Ah. Well, I was hungry. Sorry to eat in front of you. But I thought. You are always asking for cooking videos. So I said, okay, I can do that. I'll do a cooking video, a simple one. Hmm. Mm. Good meal. So thank you for watching. What's not to love about Snickers ice cream with chocolate Hershey's syrup? Just a little thank you and I'm letting you know your special gifts of love are helping me grow as I try to help others by your joining me. We are doing this together. We are family. We can help others to find joy in their lives and not be discouraged by all the strife. Thank you for your help, cause I know I'm not alone. You are all members and part of my 